Have you ever felt? Are you listening? And what's up boys, this is Buff Moto over here and you must be wondering why am I standing in front of the bike, why am I not riding it, what is going on, there are many questions in your mind but the thing is a lot of you asked for a walk around of the bike and you also asked that what all are the things that I've done to my bike, I wanted to answer all those questions and you might have also noticed that these days there is a challenge going on the 10 things that I hate in my bike so I'm going to start that challenge today and the thing is that you have to state 10 things that you hate about your bike right it might not just be generally the problems in that bike it must be that 10 things that you hate in your bike or 10 things that you hate in your bike all right so the things can vary from person to person and another step of that challenge is that you have to call out two other guys to do that same challenge and they have to call out two other more and the chain goes on and on and it continues so today i'll be telling the 10 things i hate in my duke 390 that i have customized myself and to carry on i'll call out augie f because he has an rc 390 and i don't want to call out anyone who has the same bike and the other person will be Storm Rider because he has a beautiful Benelli 600i and I want to know what faults can he find in that bike. So first let us start with the things that I have done. As you can see I have put on focus bar and mirrors over here and shorty levers by Maxi. Cool. So I have put on bar and mirrors that I ordered from eBay under the dealership of Balaji e-store. Same goes for these Maxi shorty levers. Same thing from the same dealer, eBay. The bar and mirrors people usually ask, am I able to see clearly in that? Yes, not a problem. I have broad shoulders because of that the normal mirrors were creating a lot of obstruction for me and I could not see anything on that. So I have chosen for these bar and mirrors because the narrower waist helps me to see clearly. Shorty levers because I hate those ridiculous stock levers that don't do anything are immensely long and uh, too much trouble. I don't even want to talk about them. Yes, they are adjustable. They work great. I love them. And what have I done? Oh, the graphic work. The graphic work is all. I don't know why it is coming all yellowish. But it is supposed to be orange. Yeah, you will see in person that these are actually neon orange stickers that I've put on by myself. These are uh, simple wraps that I cut as per the design and I put them however I like them. Different designs. I change them every one or two months. I get bored easily. Same you can see on the belly pan also I've done something. Another thing you'll notice is the XL exhaust over here and XL LX3. Till date I was riding with the baffles. Today I have removed the baffles. Yes, you will be hearing the sound as well. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Yes, these are all the cosmetic upgrades that I've done. Uh, let's talk about the performance upgrades. Inside my bike, I have an air filter over here, a KNN replacement filter. Uh, high airflow, obviously good for engine. I don't want to go into the technical details, but yes, it helps your performance. Uh, if you're putting in an exhaust, you should put an air filter. Another thing, if you're putting both of them and you want to juice out all the power, you have to remap your engine. What I did was, uh, I went to Kiris, K-I-I-R-U-S, Kiris, for remapping. And I got remapped from them. The performance has increased. Yes, it is noticeable. Mileage, I don't know. I never really checked the mileage. But the, uh, you can notice the increase in the performance. Mm. Now, let us start with the 10 things that I hate about my Duke 390. Let's start from the bottom. Ah. You see this exhaust. So because of this, this bent pipe goes quite low from the swing arm the stock exhaust ends about here right above this 
but this aftermarket goes a little low and generally it doesn't create any problem but whenever there is a pillion it swoops much lower and when our country you have seen we have those ridiculous homemade seat breakers which just bump all of a sudden and I don't think you can see but they have scraped up my exhaust a couple of times I don't carry much of a pillion that's why it has only happened a couple of times another problem that I hate in my Duke 390 is I've changed my exhaust twice now and because of that I first I put in an Indian company uh, don't want to take out any names over there I put in an Indian company horrible company very uh, bad exhaust looks horrible sounds horrible but then as you can see this huge stock exhaust in which the muffler and the catalytic filter was there as one piece taking it out is a huge struggle and you can notice that some paint was chipped off from this side from the other side and it happens every time every time you put in your stock exhaust or take it out something will get scraped off because you have to open a lot of joints and it is a long long struggle putting it in putting an aftermarket in is not hard taking out the stock and putting in the stock is very hard that would be number two the third thing that i hate about my duke 390 would be if you see from this angle uh, all of the bike looks so sexy so nice and then you come over here and it has got this horrendous tail over here I just want to get rid of that tail so yeah as soon as I get my collect enough money you know earn enough money basically <laughs> I'll get one tail tidy kit as well mm, next 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 now the next problem that I face is very common is the seat damn thing is hard as a rock and I have a very sensitive tushy because of that uh, if I ride more than uh, three hours it start hurting my butt I know three hours is quite long and it's good and commendable but it's it makes me wonder I mean it starts becoming uncomfortable after an hour but after three hours it's like unbearable I have ridden for about five hours but yeah after three hours it's too much pain and I have to stop from time to time and give some rest to my ass for a little more blood flow oh next problem yes the next thing i hate about my bike is something that i have done myself it is the kiris remap now mind you it is a very nice mapping and engine gets you know, quite smooth and fast and everything but the problem that you face is that they have moved the rev limiter to 13,000 rpm which is like the ultimate peak of it and with the stock settings and the cheap pistons and walls if you take it in that high rpm range it will seize the engine will seize the engine has seized in a couple of bikes before not my bike i don't like taking it in such high rpms because i love my bike and when it starts screaming i can feel the pain <laughs> so i don't do that but yeah that is another problem the next thing that i hate is the side stand another thing that is very common in dukes due to the vibration it keeps coming off loose again and again and trust me i have tightened it really hard each time and it happens you know you go for long rides and it will become loose especially on bumpy roads and places like that oh next thing that i hate about my duke again i know that you can get aftermarket headlamps but you know headlamps are not so expensive and come on ktm if you're doing so much why don't you just put in some good headlamps over here now that would make eight next problem again really common in all the dukes and ktms these brakes i'm not talking about the feel of the brakes that's still fine we can manage with it but even if you clean it within five minutes it will start squeaking again and it's extremely annoying and uh, i don't know if something should be done about that I guess if we'll put aftermarket brake pads, maybe it will solve the problem. I've not tried it. I've not heard anybody try it, but I'll see. I'll do it again when I collect enough money by myself for any more modifications on the bike. And the last thing would be, oh yes, the fuel tank. 
Now, you must be thinking, I'll tell the quantity of the fuel tank. No, quantity. Again, I can manage. You, we get fuel pumps quite regularly. It's okay. We, I don't mind stopping for a small, like, few seconds for refueling. That's not a big deal. But KTMs have the worst fuel gauge that I've ever seen. You know, one day it will be like low fuel level. Next day, more, next morning you start the bike, it is showing two bars. You drive for two minutes, it's the two bars are gone. I don't know what it's guessing on, what what's going on. It's, it's extremely laggy. I don't like that. Whew. Oh, I was talking really fast. Now these go these all points cover like the ten things that I hate about my KTM. Mind you despite of all these things i can state many more but still i love my bike a lot lot more again i'll say i've covered up all the 10 things that i hate about my ktm now again i'll remind you i'm calling out augie f and storm biker for the same challenge and the new video is coming out soon and the new video is coming out soon so you guys wait for it Maybe by the week's end, I'll give it to you guys. Alright, take care. Adios. Here we go. Aha! You guys thought I forgot the exhaust note, didn't you? <laughs> Not so easily. Let's go. This is the exhaust note that you get when you're standing next to the bike. Let's rev it up. I won't rev it too high because again, I am in my building I don't want to disturb the people so let's quickly rev it up Whew, that was loud people are gonna hate me now <laughs> all right guys thank you so much see you next time here we go yeah!